In this video, we're going to start tackling how to create a post using a ORM or specifically SQL Alchemy. So once again, I'm going to copy out or comment out all of the SQL code. And what we're going to do is we're going to see how we can actually create a brand new object uh, or a brand new post in this case. So first things first, anytime uh, any of your path operations need to work with the database, we need to make sure that we copy this exact input argument into the path operation function. This is going to give us a access to our database object so that we can actually make queries and make changes to our database. And by passing it in like this, it's going to make it a dependency and it's going to make it a lot easier for testing and, and things like that. Technically, you don't have to do it like this. Uh, you could just import it directly in there. However, by doing it like this, like I said, uh, testing becomes a little bit easier. All right, so we've got our models, right? And we have one specific model. So this model represents our posts. And so to create a brand new post, we have to reference this model and pass in the specific fields that we want to create a new entry with. So first of all, we have to make sure we import that model. And you can see that we are importing all of our models by doing from dot import models. So we can access models dot um, post in this case to access that specific model. And so here I'm going to do models dot post. And then we have to pass in the properties of the brand new, of the brand new post that we want to create. Uh, and so what are the properties, right? If you take a look at our SQL statement, we need the title, the content, and uh, the published Boolean, right? And that's all going to be derived from the request that we get, which is going to be stored in the post object. So I can reference all of those fields. So I can say the title for the brand new post is going to be set to whatever the title the user sent at. And that can be accessed with post.title. The content of the brand new created post is going to be uh, content equals post.content. And then the same thing is going to be for published. So it's going to be um, post.published. Right? And if you take a look at this code so far, this doesn't look too different from the SQL statement, right? This says insert into posts, and then we pass in post.title into the title, post.content into the content, and then post.published into published, right? And so this is pretty much exactly the same thing. We're not doing anything different. We're just having uh, SQL Alchemy handle all of that logic so we can do everything in just standard Python code, and there's no SQL anymore. All right, and the next thing that we want to do is, well, let's save the result as new post. And let's see what happens. So I'm going to save this. And then we're going to set a little query. So first of all, I'm going to create a new post. I'm going to call this a uh, welcome to Funland. So much fun. Okay, and so then we'll, we will send a request. And we got some data back. And so it looks like it worked. However, take a look at our, uh, our data. We're, we've got a title, we've got a content, and then we've got published, but where's the ID? Uh, where's the created at field? All the fields that the database creates. So this makes me suspect that this didn't actually work. So let's go to Postgres and then go ahead and make a query to your table. So select star from post, that's gonna grab all of them. Um, and you'll see that based off of the title, Welcome to Funland, I do not have that in there. So it looks like this was not successfully able to create a post within our database. So let's take a look and see what went wrong. And uh, if you actually take a look at the, uh, the previous method, right, you could see that uh, we actually have to commit something to the database. So we can create an entry, but it doesn't actually get pushed to the database until we do a commit. And so I'm suspecting that we probably have to do a similar thing. So when it comes to SQL Alchemy, what we need to do is, first of all, we have to tap into the database object now. We want to say db.add, and then we're going to add this newly created post. So this is going to add it to the database. However, just like with the connection.commit, we have to commit those changes. So we do db.commit. And then the last thing that we need to do is, uh, if you take a look at our SQL statement, we have this returning star. So that's going to return back the uh, newly created post. Uh, with SQL Alchemy, it's a little bit different, right? Because we don't really have access to that underlying SQL code. We can't add a returning statement to this. So the way that you do this in SQL Alchemy is you do db.refresh, and then you pass in the new post object. So what this is going to do is we create a brand new post, we add it to our database, then we commit it, and then what we're going to do is we're going to essentially retrieve that new post that we just created and store it back into the variable new underscore post. And so all of this code should be uh, identical to this code. 
And so now if we uh, will just return back new post, and I think that should fix our issue. So now if I hit send, right, we do see an ID and we do see a created ad field. So it looks like it worked, but we want to double check within Postgres. So if I hit run and we can see welcome to Funland. So it looks like it's now successfully working. And before we wrap up this video, uh, there's one thing I don't like about the way we've done things, right? And this isn't necessarily going to break or cause any issues. However, you're going to see it's very inefficient uh, depending on what your models look like. Now, our model has only a couple of fields, and the user only has to really pass in um, two to three fields, which is title, content, and published. So it's not that big of a deal, but imagine if we have a model with 50 fields. I mean, there's no limitation, right? You can put as many fields as you want. Well, then things are going to get a little bit more difficult because uh, if you see, we have to extract all the fields from our schema, right? And then we have to kind of pass it in. So we have to say, oh, title equals post.title, content equals post.content, and then published equals post.published. Now, if we have 50 fields, we're going to have to do that 50 times. And that's a little inefficient. Uh, and there's actually a much easier way to do it. And the, the way to do this is we have access to the post um, object, which is, you know, um, this is a pedantic model. So it's going to ensure that it um, matches the schema that we set. And we want to say post.dict. Now we know that's going to convert it to a regular dictionary. So if I do a print, save that, and then just send a request, right? Take a look at this. We've got a regular Python dictionary. However, we need to be able to automatically take that dictionary and convert it to this format where uh, instead of having, uh, you know, title like this and then welcome to Funland, it's going to be title equals and then post.title content equals post.content. So how do we do that? easy. All we have to do is unpack the dictionary. So you just do a star star, and it's going to put it into this exact same format. So we can remove all of this and just say star star post dot dict. And that should ultimately do the same exact thing, except now if we uh, go back to our database uh, or our model and add in extra fields, it's going to automatically unpack all of those fields for us. So we don't have to manually type it out. All right, we'll save that. I'm going to just uh, put in some extra text just to make sure we can verify that. And I realize we got to remove this print statement. It's going to throw an error. Then we'll hit send. It looks like everything worked. Let's go to our database, search, and it looks like it worked. So you can see that if we go back to our code, a lot cleaner uh, than having to type out each one of those fields. And we can put this all in one line so it looks a little better.